Hey there, folks, Rel here. We've officially entered the last few days left to support the game that I've been working on for about the past year, and there's still a heavy lift left to fully fund it. So if you'd like to support the work that I'm doing, or me as a person, pause the video, click the link below, and make a pledge. Please and thank you. Now, if this is the first time that you're hearing about any of this, I've been developing a new D20 fantasy RPG focused on hardships, not heroes. By D20, I'm talking about a polyhedral die, so it's a tabletop role-playing game like Dungeons and Dragons or Pathfinder or Dragonbane and so many others. The reason that this game exists is because a lot of modern heroic fantasy doesn't really hit the same beats that a heroic fantasy is meant to evoke. So you know how Frodo, at the end of Lord of the Rings, is so broken, so beaten, so utterly changed that he ends up going with Bilbo to Valinor instead of living out the rest of his days in the Shire. That's the feeling that I'm trying to evoke. Not the depressing everybody's crying at the end part, but everything leading up to that point. Because a hero is forged by the decisions that they make in times of hardships. It's the self-sacrifice, in spite of the odds, that really fuels the idea. A lot of D20 heroic fantasy games, they don't work like this. There are no consequences to your actions. They just call you a hero, and that's about the end of it. When I play a role-playing game, I'm very invested in the character's growth. I want that satisfying story arc. I love watching them evolve through the decisions that they make and the mark that they leave behind. That's the good stuff. So I made a whole game that was built around that premise. If you'd like to support Distal, there are very few chances left for you to do that. For the next few days, the Backer Kit campaign will continue to run, ending on the 29th, that's Wednesday. Backer Kit is an all or nothing crowdfunding platform, meaning that if the project doesn't fully fund, the money doesn't get taken, so there's no risk there. Funding goes toward getting the game into hardcover form, and more importantly, paying for the real human art that's needed to make it feel like a cohesive product. Ultimately, the project doesn't end if it doesn't fund, I just need to reassess and see what comes next. I'm super excited to do a post-mortem of this campaign because I've already learned so much about the whole crowdfunding process, including a lot of things that I would have done differently. But if we can fund, if we can push the game from around the 50% where it's at right now to fully fund it over the next few days, that would be insane. Rarely ever happens. So it'd be super cool to talk about that too. If you'd like to support my work, let's get it going. Thanks very much, folks. Real signing off.